As with all modern conventional wars, air power and air superiority will play a key role. For the United States, the stealthy Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor will be America's premier weapon to ensure dominance over the skies until it is eventually replaced by whatever comes out of the U.S. Air Force's FX program. The most direct Chinese analog to the Raptor is the Chengdu J-20. How would such a jet fare against America's best? Not much is known about the Chinese jet, it might not even be a fighter in the traditional sense of the word. It could be a specialized aircraft that is specifically designed to attack the sinews of U.S. power projection capabilities in the Western Pacific as part of an overall Chinese anti-access area denial strategy, A2 slash AD. Basically, the jet might be optimized to hit support assets like tankers, AWACS, JSTARS or even carry long-range cruise missiles to attack scattered U.S. bases and aircraft carriers in the region. Here is what we do know about the J-20. It appears to have a stealth airframe and it liberally borrows design cues from both the Raptor and its Lockheed stable mate, the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter. That's not an accident, the Chinese very likely stole a large amount of classified F-35 data. There are some indications that the J-20 is a primarily a strike aircraft but with a robust air-to-air -air capability. Like the American F-35, the newest J-20 prototypes appear to have an electro-optical targeting system mounted under the nose. That sensor could be Beijing A Star Science and Technology's EOTS 89 Electro Optical Targeting System, EOTS. A dedicated air superiority fighter wouldn't need that kind of sensor. There are also indications that the Chinese jet carries an active electronically scanned array radar, ESA. Allegedly, the J 20 would be fitted with a Type 1475 radar, which is supposedly being tested on a China test flight establishment owned Tupelo F 2204. However, there is no way to confirm that information because the People's Liberation Army Air Force, PLOF, isn't really all that forthcoming about sharing information about its developmental projects. That being said, given Beijing's interest in the Su-35, which is mostly likely driven by a desire to harvest that flanker variant's radar and engine technology, I have my doubts about how far along the Chinese have gotten on developing an operational ESA. Perhaps the most compelling evidence that would point to the J-20 being optimized for the strike role is the fact that the airframe is enormous but has relatively small wings. It also seems to have huge weapons bays. While such a configuration works well for a fast supersonic strike aircraft, it's not ideal for an air superiority fighter that needs be able to sustain high rates of turn. Moreover, China hasn't demonstrated that it has the requisite engine technology necessary to power an air superiority fighter of that size. The People's Republic hasn't perfected its indigenous WS-10, let alone come close to finishing development of the next generation WS-15. In fact, China hasn't demonstrated it can build any reliable jet engine, and that's including designs that it stole from Russia. But a strike aircraft doesn't need to have a spectacular thrust-to-weight ratio. Thus the jet's current twin Russian-built Saturn AL-31F engines might be adequate for China's purposes. Of course, this is all conjecture. Only the PLOF knows where the J-20 fits into their order of battle, but it could prove to be a formidable foe. Audio
个下滑就好小哦，走点小路哦，恐怖啊，很恐怖。这个这个转比转距离是小路哦，今天见阿弟又跑到路，他才跑到路那么近的距离，你们都喊恐怖没有的味道没有？闻到没有？